Hi, I'm Katie Pertit, and today I'm going to show you how I use this free template that there's a link to below with some extracting and spilling of my photos. This template um, that you see on the screen here, this template already has the spilling done for you. But I'm going to show you a way to create your own effects and spill your photos creatively. So I'm gonna get started by showing you the page that I did. So this is my finished page. And you can see my daughter I've extracted and then I kind of painted the bottom out of the bottom or the bottom of the photo. So first I'm going to move this over here so you can see the finished page on the side. And we'll start here by bringing in the photo over the um, clip to photo layer. I'm going to just open and grab my photo here. And, and I'm using Photoshop Creative Cloud 2020, just as a little heads up. Okay, I'm positioning her, I'm going to put her above the stitching. There we go. And in 2020, there's the object select tool. Now, you know, they tout this as being a great for instant extracting of people, but in my personal opinion, it just gives you a little jump start. So if you click and drag over the area that you want extracted, it then you can see the marching ants. We'll zoom in a little bit here. So it, it, you know, it caught some of it, but you can see there's a lot of areas that aren't so good. So, um, you know, I don't know that there's a real super quick, easy way to do this other than taking your lasso tool and I'm gonna hold down the option key to deselect and then drag along the areas that I don't want in the selection anymore. And then hold down the shift key to add to your selection. And I'm not gonna do this super perfect. I mean, you can take a lot of time on your extractions to get them just the way you want them, but I'm just going to do this enough to give you the idea of what I like to do. Sometimes um, it's helpful to start on one side of the object you're extracting, drag over, or you can see my lines aren't so smooth here as I'm speeding up, and then let go and it's automatically gonna connect to the other end and pick up on the angle. And I'm just gonna deselect some of that, go back, select a little bit more, so it's a lot of um, shifting and option, plusing and minusing your selection. And then we'll come down here and I'm gonna minus really quickly, get in here and we'll get the rest of her hand. And then of course we need some of the bottom of the pole this was when we were on our cruise and we stopped in Jamaica and went river rafting, is what they called it, on the Martha Bray River. It was a really, it was a fun experience. And just a little bit more again, holding down the shift key and selecting. And like I said, you'll, when you do this yourself, you'll want to spend a little bit more time and do it a little more carefully. But I'm gonna deselect. I just want when I show you painting technique and stuff for it not to look totally janky. Um, okay. Just about got it rough enough to show you my next steps then. So then I'm going to go up and I'm going to edit and copy. 
with my marching ant still selected, when I go to edit and paste, it's gonna paste it in that exact same spot so that I know they're perfectly matched. So you can see there, I've got both photos. Now I'm gonna to go to the bottom layer. I'm gonna to go to layer, layer mask, and hide all. Then I'm gonna take my paintbrush and I'm going to go to, I'm using the new paint smeared paints that are in the store and I will put a link to below in the video here. And I'm just taking one of those paints and I'm making sure that the foreground is white, that I'm painting in my mask layer of the photo below. And I'm just gonna kind of bring back some of the raft and the water. So you can see it's kind of spilling out. You can see I have a hard edge from the raft that maybe I don't want it to be a hard edge. So if I go back and flip it to black, it's going to go back and cover that up. So you can see you're getting more of the spill effect this way. I can go, whoops, white. And I can add more of the river or whatever scenes I want to bring into the frame. So it's a quick and easy way to do an extraction. And really, you don't notice all the little things that aren't so great here, because then we're going to turn off background and actually okay I take that back I do notice something so I'm going to go back I'm going to take my eraser tool and I'm just going to clean this up a little bit because it's annoying me but when you do your extractions you'll want to spend a little bit of time using the lasso tool or then come back in here and use the eraser to tune it up a little bit okay and then for my page which you can see here I brought in some of the papers from the Vintage Coastal Collection. So I'm going down here to this paint layer and I'm going to open and bring in the Vintage Coastal paper number one, paper eight. And bring it in here. I really, I loved making these papers and the hot pinks and the blues and, um, really help bring up the tropical vibe. So I'm going to go create clipping mask and it clipped right to that paint below. So I'm maintaining this artsy look and then I'm going to go to the paint layer above that and I'm going to open another paper from the vintage coastal papers and I want the palm tree to kind of look like she's in the palm trees. So, and I'm also picking up on the flowers this way. And again, go to create clipping mask. And it's so easy. It looks like you've spent forever and a day painting this page. And that's really it. It's super easy. I mean, you can take a lot of time on your extractions, um, but you'd also, you don't need to, and you can create some really artsy effects by just using you know, your basic extraction and some painting to spill your photos, keeping it artsy. And if you're not in Photoshop 2020 and you don't have access to the object select tool, you know, you can also, why don't we go back here and I'll show you how um, the quick selection tool and the magic wand can help too. So let's go back. And we're gonna turn these off. And hopefully this will help people that are perhaps on older versions. All right, so we're gonna go, we're gonna grab our quick select tool. And what this does is it kind of finds your object. And again, it's not perfect, just like the object selection isn't perfect. And you can change the size of the area that you're trying to select by clicking on the brush shape up here and adjusting your size. And then you're gonna go back in and use the lasso tool, but you can also hold down the option key 
and minus will come up in that little circle and you can unselect parts. And it automatically defaults back to the plus. And if we go up here and we make our size smaller, it'll then select the pole a little easier. Yeah, you know, because the values in the um, bright sky are the same, that's why it, it's not being as selective there. And we can go minus and go in here and clean it up. And then, you know, start over again with the copy, pasting, and painting. So I'm pretty sure everyone has access to the quick select. Mine doesn't want to select. To the quick selection tool. And that's another really easy way. I'll show you if we go copy and paste. And again, you can go in and clean it up a little bit more detail. Um, a little more carefully than I did it there, but you get the general idea <clears throat> of the different ways that you can create this effect. All right, well, if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and all the information of the brushes that I use and the free template link will be below here. All right, have a great day and I'll see you again soon.